Alright, as promised, I am putting together a video here to show you how to properly format your SD card to be used with the iFlash to PS2 kit uh, with Grim Doomer's Open PS2 Loader build that supports EXFAT SD cards. This is my preferred method of uh, formatting for the card. Uh, because it makes it easy to add games in the future. Uh, you don't have to use custom software for it. Uh, it makes it easier to manage your configuration files, your uh, metadata, everything about using the uh, Grim Doomer version of OPL is more convenient than the official stock build. But you do have to format your card in a specific way for Grim Doomer's OPL build to be able to see it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to check and make sure that the card is set up with the correct partition type. Um, Grim Doomer's OPL does not support MBR partitions. Uh, most SD cards that you buy are probably going to come pre-formatted with the correct type of partition, which is GPT partitions, but you might find a circumstance where your card is not formatted correctly. So we want to go ahead and check that first, then we'll move on to doing the formatting steps. So to check, first thing we need to do on Windows, we're going to open up a command prompt and we're going to open a program called Diskpart. D I S K P A R T. Now, in Diskpart, we can pull up information about the drives that are currently connected. So, we're going to go ahead and do uh, type in a command list disk. And this will show us the disks that are connected to our system right now. Now, disk zero is my hard drive for my virtual machine that I'm running uh, right now. Disk one has nothing connected to it. It's one, part of my SD card reader, but it's a different, it's one of the other slots on it. Disk two is the actual SD card that we're trying to format for the PS2. So as you can see, disk two has 461 gigabytes uh, of uh, space um, and it is not GPT. There would be a little star, a little asterisk here if this was formatted for GPT. That means that this is on MBR partitions. So what we're going to do is we're going to use disk part to convert this MBR disk to GPT. The first thing we need to do is change to the disk number that we're trying to work with. So we're going to type in the command select disk And this is disk two that we're working on. You got to make sure you select the correct, correct disk. If you select the wrong disk, you could delete your computer, <laughs> basically. So we, we're going to select disk two. And now if we hit list disks again, list disk, you'll see that there is a little asterisk next to disk two. That tells us that's the one that's selected. Now what we got to do is we've got to use the command clean. What that's going to do is it's going to wipe all the partitions and completely erase this disk. So you got to make sure you're selected, you've selected the correct disk. So we're going to go ahead and hit clean. Now that has cleaned the disk. So if we hit list disks again, it's going to show 461 gigabytes free because that disk has been wiped. There's no partitions on it right now. And then we're going to type in the command convert GPT. Now, if we list the disks again, you'll see that disk two is online, 461 gigabytes, 461 gigabytes free, and the GPT partition has an asterisk. So that means that this is set up for GPT now. So that's it, we're done with disk part. Now what we're gonna do is actually format the drive. So we need to use a, a program in Windows called Disk Management. And this is it right here. Create and format hard disk partitions. This is called disk management, but this is what it'll show up as when you search for it. <clears throat> so if we scroll down, you're gonna see right here, we have removable disk G. That's what it's gonna be in my system. It'll probably be a different drive letter in your system, but it shows we have 461 gigabytes unallocated. What we need to do is right click on that, click new simple volume, click next here, click next here, click next here. And then uh, on the file system, we need to change that to EXFAT. The allocation unit size we can leave default. 
And then for the volume name, I like to just delete the volume name and just have it blank. Quick format is fine. So everything looks correct. We're gonna hit finish and it's gonna format the drive for us. So now you can see that we have an EX fat drive, uh, 461 gigabytes mounted to the system. Now that we have this drive mounted, we can click on the USB drive H and we need to create a folder inside of this drive labeled DVD. Now you may also want to create a CD folder. That just depends on if you have CD based games. Most PS2 games are going to be DVD based. But um, OPL will generate folders for you automatically once you plug this card into a PS2 and load it in OPL. So the main reason we're creating the DVD folder is just so that we can put in an ISO to test with. So we'll go into the DVD folder. And down here I have two different ISOs. I have Metal Gear Solid 3 in ISO format and then I also have Metal Gear Solid 3 in ZSO format. The ZSO is a compressed ISO, so it takes up less space. You can see Metal Gear Solid 3 ZSO is 3.93 gigabytes and the ISO is 4.35 gigabytes. So you save a fair bit of space by using ZSOs. So we're gonna go ahead and transfer a ZSO over to the DVD drive. Okay, now that that's done, we're done setting up this SD card. So we can go ahead and remove it from the system. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and test this in a PS2. So we've got our SD card that we formatted. We're gonna go ahead and slot that into our PS2 with the iFlash to PS2 kit installed. And we've got a memory card here set up with free MC boot and it's set to auto boot into Grim Doomer's OPL. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this PS2 on. And as you can see, it detected our SD card with Metal Gear Solid 3 installed on it. And now we can launch the game if we want to. And now we have Metal Gear Solid 3 running off of the SD card. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about, we're going to go back into OPL and we're going to talk about some of the settings that need to be set up in the Grim Doomer OPL build. So we'll reset the PS2. All right, so some important settings that need to be set up for this to work on Grim Doomer's OPL. First of all, you have to go to hit start and go to settings. And when you first load up OPL, the BDM start mode is probably going to be set to off. So what you want to do is select that and set it to auto. Then go over to block devices and you need to make sure that you turn on the HDD option under block devices. By default, it'll be off. You'll need to turn it on, hit OK and then you'll need to save your changes. So you go down here, save your changes, it'll save it to your memory card, and that way you can use these settings automatically every time. But if you don't turn on the uh, HDD block device, it will not detect your card no matter what you do. You have to go in there and turn that on under block devices and you have to set BDM mode to auto. Now, something you don't have to do is you do not have to set AD, HDD device start mode to auto. I have it on manual because occasionally I do. Um, I have some H, some cards that are formatted for the standard PlayStation file system. So I still want to be able to load off of the standard file system, but that's what the HDD start mode is for, is for the regular eight, uh, PS2 file system. It's not for the EX FAT. EXFAT is going to be the one that's under block devices. So if you turn that one off and or turn that one on and you leave the HDD start mode set to off, 
it will still work. You'll still be able to detect your EX Fat card. You just won't be able to detect normally formatted PlayStation file system cards. And then you want your default menu to be set to BDM games. Now, I believe it will automatically be set to that by default, but you might want to check that and make sure because that way it will automatically load your SD card um, and it'll jump to the, to the SD card automatically instead of you having to navigate over to it. But that's pretty much it for OPL and how to format cards. Um, you do need a free MC boot memory card for this. So if you don't have one of those, you'll need to either set one up or um, buy one pre-made. Either option is good. And then you'll need to go download Grim Doomer's OPL, which I'm gonna link uh, below this video.